Well, look at you. Don't you look impressive? And you wear blue armor, much like I. Rest hearty. Who I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to have to fight. Hello my lords and ladies, I'm Pitch Dark and welcome back to Outward. So we are with Jen here. We are currently in Cerzo, uh, at our home in Cerzo. Uh, I, I made the journey from Berg to here. Um, and yeah, I mean, pretty much that's it. I mean, I, a couple of things, I did fight a couple of cow horns and I did fight that black loop bird. Um, I actually got some cool stuff. I got some alpha meat, a bunch of different bugs and, and stuff like that. Nothing like, no great weapons or anything like that, but you know, some stuff. Um, so we are going to head out to the Mel, Melcon or Mel, Montcom, Montcom, I think it's called, Montcom camp. Um, I did grab, um, all our palladium, uh, because when we end up in Monsoon, I want to see if we can get that other armor created. This is, a, we have a quite a bit of silver right now. We have over a thousand, um, which is good. So maybe we can look at one of the other skills as well. Once we get there, I'm sure we'll, we'll make some more, uh, silver, I hope. Uh, during our journeys here, um, yes, yeah, so pretty much it. I made some jam. I did. Gr I did bring another piece of armor with me. I dropped it off in the chest. It was um, it was the new Pathfinder armor we found uh, that had good uh, it has both hot and cold weather defense. I brought it with me because I thought maybe it might be winter here because uh, the in the America was getting cold. I had to light a few fires to travel and everything. So. I figured I'd bring that with me just in case, but turns out was not required. So um, I'll try to remember to grab that when we head back. Um, but we're probably going to end up end up going directly into the Emerker. So uh, I mean, into the uh, Hallowed Hallowed Marsh. So I might just leave it there. Not going to worry about it right now. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're going to head on over to the camp. I'm hoping. Um, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be fighting again or if they're just gonna you know walk up welcome us in I mean last time we were there we just we destroyed everybody so <laughs> they may not be very happy about that who knows so I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to fight again and um, I don't know I mean if I fight that I forget what he was was he a captain or something like that if I fight him again and defeat him then they just say okay cool. We'll submit, or I, I guess we'll find out. No, well, it goes nothing. Did it always say Montcalm Clan Fort? I think it did. Uh, let's see. There's a dog there. Can I target him? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen here. Let's move these down. This is this is it, right? Convince the Moncom tribe found inside the wooden fort and shares in his note to make peace. Okay. I mean, it's got to be it. Oh, he's not attacking. Hey. What's up? What's up, Buttercup? Alright. Alright, Poochie's, uh... Alright, he's staying. He's staying calm. So, so we just go to talk to this guy. Guy up over here, maybe. Hey, how you doing, sir? Take that off just in case. Oh, I don't talk to him. Uh, all right. <laughs> Pick that back up. Is there like a, a supreme leader? He's sitting on the throne up here. Oh yeah. 
Okay, so I was hoping if it was that guy and we have to fight him, we fought him before, but... Well, look at you, don't you look impressive? And you wear blue armor, much like I. Rest hearty. Who I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to have to fight. Rest hearty. Right, let's find out. Why does someone from Cierzo dare come here? Be thankful we have a truce. We have nothing but hatred for your people after what you've done to us. I mean, after what I did to you? Or... Um, I need you to agree to the peace talks with Laban. Why should we? Did the Blue Chamber consult us before going to war? Did they care when one of our own was poisoned? We know it was Reza's doing. The ghosts from the tunnels told us. They told us everything. They keep us safe. Oh. We want them to burn until they understand. They tell us that Levant burns the eastern tribes. That the Blue Chamber suffers. I say good. We want them to burn until they understand what it's like to lose those you care for. Um, so either your personal feud with Reza is no reason to harm the rest of the tribes, or you do know that if the Vlad's army reaches your tribe, they'll burn you to the ground, right? A few ghosts won't protect you from any army bristling with firearms. I don't know, he seems pretty cocky about their ability, so maybe your personal feud were reason. One of our people was murdered by your chamber lady. And nothing was done about it. The Blue Chamber Collective is supposed to be family, but when they attacked us, they want us to pretend it was a tragic accident? How are we supposed to accept that? It's much safer to entrust our fate to the ghosts. They are a devoid of ambition or deceit. As long as we offer them life to drink, they have no reason to turn on us. Uh, you trust the undead over the living, breathing people. You're, they're monsters and you have no conscience. Um, you're enslaving, you're, you've enslaved yourselves. You talk about offering them life while accusing us of murder. How many did you sacrifice to the undead? Whatever it takes to satisfy them. Anyone who trespasses here forfeits their life. We've taken people from other tribes and raids too. Whatever amount it takes to satisfy the needs of our guardians. Okay. Uh, so rather than trade one life for the safety of the whole collective, you'd rather trade everyone's lives for some ghosts you pr that protect you. And every corpse you hang out there to feed the ghosts. Couldn't they be the heart of another tribe. Ah, couldn't they? And what happens when they aren't able to satisfy the ghosts with those you've kidnapped? Will you sacrifice your own people to feed them? Hmm. Eh, oh boy, I don't know which one to pick here. Um, I guess number three? If that's what we have to do, yes. Oh, Jesus. Okay, did not expect that. <laughs> I think about what you just said. To protect your people from needless dying, you're going to sacrifice your people yourself. Do you not see the problem with this logic? You can't refute that. <laughs> we agree to declare <laughs> peace with Levant. Well, that was a quick, quick change. Um, we can't put our fates in the undead if their hunger outgrow, if their hunger grows out of control. We agree to declare peace with Levant. But you must get the chamber lords to send us help. The ghosts will come to fire us if we stop feeding them. Ha ha. Okay. So. We. Okay. So we convinced them. But now there could be another uh, problem in the future. Huh? Because the ghosts may come in and try to devour them. And then so we have to stop them. Can I open this? Would you mind? Sir? I love how there's seemingly like no staling in this game. <laughs> it's a hoarder's dream. Okay, cool. All right. So, um, yeah, I guess 
Well, that was sh that was shorter than I thought it would be. Um, all right, so I guess what I'll do is I'm gonna head to the Hollow Marsh. I guess let's 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 head out of here. How do we get? I think we can, I think we can go. Well, I know we can go directly to the Hollow Marsh. I can't remember. I think it's in the northern part in the east. All right. What's this over here? What's going on over here? Oh, the doggy's stuck. The doggy wants the doggy wants to leave with me. Look at that. Come on, doggy. Let's go. I love the music here. The music here is so nice. I mean, for a swampy, very dangerous, very horrible area, the music is very soothing. So we are on our way to the um, giant encampment or giant city. Which is way up here. So we're here. We got a long way to go. So we should just continue and head on up. All right, I really don't recall this house. Yeah, but I see a chest. So you know, gotta check it out. Oh, look at that novice hat. What is this? Taking that puppy. Can't weigh that much. It's gonna lay a trap down just because we have plenty of them now. There's, oh, that looks like I was smarted. Look at you with your little bow. Isn't that nice? <laughs> okay. And I saw another one marching around over there. That's why I put the traps down. I thought there's going to be more. Oh, he's a marsh captain, too. So the, the first Marsh Cap, or he's an Archer Captain. Okay, so maybe that's a difference. I don't, I don't remember if it was an Archer Captain, but he was hard. Well, we had a hard time with them, but that... Not this time, not with our handy-dandy friggin' Halbert. Oh, there's somebody up there. Oh, I think there's two of them there. I see, definitely see two this time. And they both went. They're both going inside. I should try one. Of, I should try the um, predator bones again. That was that was awesome. Let's do that. Where is he? I can. See, oh, I can see. He's in the doorway. I love that. That is so amazing. Let's just wait for our power to charge up here. I missed him. That's great. Come on.
Yo. Ha! Ah, got around him. Very good. Oh, so by the way, um, I did find a round shield. Uh, I did find one. I left it in Cirzo. <laughs> um, I think... Oh, no. Did I bring it? No, I did. I brought it back to Berg. That's right. Um, so there is one in Berg. And uh, so we can make that other shield. Ash boots. I'm sure... I'm pretty sure we had those before. Uh, antidote might be uh, useful. Is that like a giant mana stone? Hey... I wonder how we get to that thing. Well, we're not going to do it now, but that would be kind of cool. Try to figure that out. Oh, 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 oh. Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus. It's too busy talking, and there's a Tyrannosaurus right there. Right there. Nope, change, change weapons. Change weapons. Okay. So I'm wondering how bad this is going to be because I'm, I don't have a shield. I've not fought these guys without one. Oh. Alright, I call bullshit on that one because I dodged him. Then he turned right around and got me. Alright, now I'm mad. Oh god, okay. Jen! Jesus. That didn't work. I don't know about that blessing. Get him. Get him. Jesus. Wow, that was close. Holy crap. Am I like burning or something? Something weird going on? Yeah, looks like my health's going down. Alright. Yeah, those were it. They looked like my health was going down from some kind of... Infliction. All right. Well, I could have been better. There it is. That's it. Ash Village. Nice. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set up camp. Sleep for sleep for a night because it's 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 nighttime. Well, not really. It's like noon, I guess, right? The only reason why I did, I'm I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I feel like. You know, it, it can go one way or another, and we could end up fighting them like we do with Sa um, Sagard. Sagard. So, um, I mean, everything looks good. So I, maybe we'll just sleep for a little bit. I just want to get my stamina back up, and then um, we'll go and sell, and then we'll talk to them and see if we can convince them to uh, to go for peace. So I'll be back. All right. So I'm um, assuming so we got to talk to our the supreme leader here. Our good friend and colleague, however, it's a case. Hi, Lord Seer. What do you want? Oh. Hello, my ally. The war goes well. The desert people are no match for us. Oh, this is probably going to be bad. I need you to help with negotiations. We're going to make peace with them. Please come to Monsoon to settle the conflict. What? Peacetime already? This is... Aha! I know. Ashbourne kicked them down so hard, they come begging for peace. Is that it? This is good. Giant stink war with puny desert men is good sport, but we wager to get back to crafts and silks. We oh. accept peace. I don't know what the hell I was all nervous about. He was like the easiest person I convince, really. Uh, we accept peace. Hmm. I want you to speak for us. You are a very good speaker. You represent us well, yes? Seer would come, but Monsoon is elite city. Seer not want to give elite people feeling that they equal to our gods. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll do that, dude. No problem. I am so happy that we're friends. Seriously. <laughs> okay. Well, I got nervous for no reason. Oh, on our way to Monsoon.